This is Salamancer. You are watching Sal TV here. We've got the final game, and it looks like our scout here, Walters, is very, very determined to win this game. Not sure what quite happened to his teeth there. Maybe the medic just overhealed them a little bit too much. But uh, this is, of course, the final round in the Excello Zowie Invite preseason tournament. And these guys are playing for all the marbles here because I'm going to spoil it for you right now, so go watch the other two videos. But this is a best of three series, and each team has won one round in the series so far. So uh, Walters getting there to the point very quickly, putting some capture time down on it, but Dignitas versus Epsilon here, whoever wins this, wins the best of three series, it is all down to CP Gullywash, which apparently has been made an official map here, which is pretty cool, Hawks and Mafu go down right away to Randa and Santa, Santa gets taken down in return by Himzy, oh uh, man, this could go anywhere, and it looks like... It has gone in the favor of Epsilon. Uh, the Jackal having to drop back with Cookie all the way to the last point. They want to make sure that that medic stays alive, keeps his uber charge. I mean, it's like it's an asset. It's That's what it is. Your uber charge is an asset, and if you do not protect your assets, then uh, you are not a very good investor. So, looks like these guys are... <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I should not talk about this kind of thing. It is terrible. There you go. Dignitas has ended up winning... Uh, I'm sorry, not winning. Wow, I'm so confused right now. I'm so tired. But they're falling back to their last point after Epsilon won the second point there as well. Stefan just waiting around here in the wings for Dignitas to maybe make a little bit of a weird aggressive move, but it's not happening. Um, Sticky Trap up on this point, but half of it getting uh, knocked off by a rocket there right away. Epsilon is... What are they going to do about this? I mean, they've got the... Sorry, they've got the Uber up. They do not have an Uber advantage, though. And Cookie standing up here on the high ground as a heavy. This position on the map right here, I think in the... Uh, in the official version of the map now that has been released for TF2, you can no longer get a heavy to stand up on that thing, so uh, good for them, because that is a nasty, nasty position to have a heavy. Uh, basically, if you do not directly land your rockets on him, if he manages to dodge them while he's spun up, uh, you can't you can't do any splash damage, because everything comes back here and hits the back walls over there, and it's just too far away for the splash. So, uh, here comes Uber right now. They're trying to deal the damage, and there you go. Uber on the heavy. That's immediately going to signal to, yeah, to Epsilon. They have to fall back. Um, keeping that heavy up there means they cannot focus him down. Now they might walk back through. Wow, how did that not kill that soldier? I have no idea. But yeah, now they're coming back through here. They, they've, they're trying to focus down to Jackal. The Jackal does get taken down there, but F2 knocks and Walters are all dead. Oh, wow. Lots and lots of damage coming down on both teams here. Uh, it looks like Mafu has held on a Along with Hawks and his friendly scout Himzy. Himzy needs to get out there and capture the point. I need to sneeze. Sneeze over and let's just see if Himzy can get out here and capture this point. I think he should be able to do just that. Oh no, he's backing off here, interestingly. Oh, he's actually waiting for Stefan to come around here, but Stefan gets the kill anyway. Hawks ends up finishing off Stefan and now we've got Hawks on the point. Uh, jumping away from it though, going for the medic here. Interesting choice because the medic is now still alive. He could have gotten that kill, but apparently missed his last rocket. So now F2 pushing in with his team once again, and it's five on three. Uh, some of them are very hurt, though. Randa and F2, both a lot of damage on them, but the soldiers are pushing in with an overheal. Walters now has an overheal as well. I don't think there's a lot Dignitas can do about this. They've now got their medic soldier up. Punpu dealing a lot of damage there, but a lot of people on the point. That's going to force everybody from uh, Dignitas, who is remaining, to stand on that point as well. Good positioning by our soldier here. This is Hawks. Uh, pretty good job there to force back the Epsilon team. So, so far, I think it's still 0-0. Zero to zero. Epsilon has had a couple shots on goal here, and both of them have gone wide. Missed just a little bit. Uh, and one second, I need to take care of something here. So, I, I, I know I've made it big when the spammers are hitting my Twitch TV channel. Uh, that is, of course, Twitch TV slash FatMop. But, i got to tell you guys uh, that this game was, of course, cast at... Whoa, what is happening down here? Dignitas, I'll tell you later. Dignitas having to drop back here because uh, they are way out of position. The Uber is pushed in right now for Epsilon. The Jackal has 90%. He is still staying alive. But, there's nobody stopping this capture on the point. There you go! Epsilon gets up 1-0. to zero. So, now we can talk just a little bit. Uh, about where this game was already casted. Of course, it was casted on Vanilla TV, and you guys need to give them more views. Um, that is going to be twitch.tv slash, I think, I think, slash Vanilla TV. Um, and then, of course, VanillaTF2.org is where you will find all of the information on competitive TF2 in Europe. Uh, so do go check them out over there. Pretty awesome. I'm going to be casting with them later today. Now, uh, looks like Rana getting out here with a full overheal, dealing a lot of sticky bomb damage to his opponents. And, wow, Medic trying to surf away there, but Dejackal gets taken out. 
Oh man, Cookie here trying to snipe onto the point, but he's eating some pills. Uh, he may be able to get some damage down, and it looks like uh, F2 is still up though. So it's going to be a huge uber advantage, and F2 is actually hanging really far back there. Not even trying to heal anybody right now because he just doesn't want to be sniped. Um, Hawks with one health. One health here, trying to stay away from the splash damage of the stickies, and he does manage to grab the health kit. So even though Dignitas lost that round, I think they're going to be able to get the midpoint right back here. Forcing a soldier back through. Oh no, Nox just trying to grab that health kit. So he's walking right back out. Um, coming in, doing a little bit of soldier jumping here, but oh, the rocket jumps are not going to work for Punpu so far. He has to get back and away. And it looks like the Jackal keeping his team just barely alive there as they retreat. But Epsilon does still hold on to the middle point here. They're pressing their scouts through and a uh, roaming soldier right now. And where is Dignitas? They're taking a lot of damage from this. Uh, looks like, oh, these soldiers Santa down to 19 health, but yeah, he does grab the health kit, so he's going to be okay. Epsilon pushing in once again. They're looking very dominant here on Gullywash. And, yeah, they are capturing the middle point here once again. Dignitas dropping back. I don't even know if Dignitas has captured the middle point once this game yet. Not going to be very good for them. Cookie now... Uh, he just doesn't know what class he wants to play. He was thinking about heavy, decided heavy was not going to be fun. Uh, and it looks like Dignitas do have their... Oh, interesting! This is why he decided against heavy, because the uber is already forced for Epsilon. Interestingly done. It means Dignitas is going to have a big uber adventure, and they're popping... Oh, they're popping F2 up in the air. Now body blocking him. There he goes. That is some of the best anti-medic stuff I've ever seen. Stefan uh, may go for a back cap here, though. He spotted his opponents trying to run away. Oh, he's... Yeah, this is going to be tough for him, though. Now he's got uh, his fellow scout working alongside him, and there you go. Uh, neither of them getting any kills so far. Walters coming in on the demo man now and does get the kill on Mafu. That's going to be really huge for Epsilon. They should be able to push in here, I think. It's only three against five. Randa peeking in with stickies right now, doing a lot of damage to the opposing team. And oh, there's just nothing, I think. Oh, I was going to say there's nothing that Dignitas can do, but it was really, it was just Randa pushing. Where was the rest of the Epsilon team for all of that? I, what? They should have pushed in there, but maybe they were just completely out of position to do that. Uh, we were too busy watching Randa try to push in by himself, and pushing in by yourself against three players, that's not usually going to work. So, uh, yeah, it's Team Fortress 2 for you. It's a team game. Here comes the recapture of the second point by Dignitas once again. And they are going to hold on to this just fine. They've got the Uber ready to go. Uh, F2 hanging pretty far forward here because uh, he knows he's going to have the Uber ready to go before Dignitas really pushes in. So he's going he's gonna to be quite ready to deal with that. And there you go. He does pop the Uber on his soldier just to save him. Trying to knock out this scout here, actually, and force a multi-Uber from the Jackal. The Jackal's Uber is now over, and he's taking a lot of hits here, but just barely manages to dodge that last rocket to keep himself alive. Um, Nobody has died yet. Walters on this spy right now, interestingly. Hawks gets the kill on Santa, but Walters has taken out Punpu. Walters, in return, does get taken down by Himzi, and Mafu has now killed Randa as well. Gosh, where is the action going on right now? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, Epsilon having to retreat away from the middle point there. Walters did a good job killing Punpu, but that was basically the only kill on the Dignitas team. Everybody else still alive, and they are building up that Uber, building up their team, pushing forward here. Let's find uh, at least one of the Dignitas people's camera, because they're going to try to tie this up here on CP Gully Wash, and Himzy standing back here, getting the capture time down on the second point, the warehouse, as it is called. And... Oh, can he take the scout out? Oh, no. Himzy is down, finds a soldier, and decides that that soldier is just going to be too much for him. The Jackal now... Oh, my gosh. Everybody was just wiped out there for Dignitas, and we did not even get to see most of that because I didn't know where they were. But Epsilon walked out there and just said, Nope. Dot AVI. Um, Dignitas is... Oh, no! Why would... Oh, why would you walk out there? Randa spawn camped the opposing... Th that is amazing. Something you can do on CP Gully Wash with... With regularity, if the enemy team wipes out, pushing into your second point, you know they've still got the forward spawns, and you're capturing mid, send your demo man forward and spawn camp. That was terrible for Dignitas. They lost any sort of uber they might have been able to build up there for the last 20 seconds. So uh, F2 is going to walk in here with a big uber advantage, and we are still on the Randa cam. There's a pyro up right now because... Dignitas knows they're going to have to air blast that Uber back away. So here comes the Uber now. Where's the Pyro? And it looks like there's actually already some time on the point. Yeah, this is just terrible for Dignitas. They're having to send a soldier down there to stop the capture. And there you go. Hox dies. So that is the capture for Epsilon. 2-0 to zero so far. Epsilon versus Dignitas. You're going to be dead and I'm going to kill you. That is the Demo Man's line. Where, ah, where is the Demo Man? Come on, come on. Well, we're going to watch Mafu rolling out here. He is going to take the right-hand rollout, actually, and be pretty aggressive. 
trying to peek some stickies over there onto the health pack, basically. And, oh, look at that. Actually, beautiful aim there. He's practiced that a lot, getting those stickies directly on that health kit, even though he couldn't see it at all. Um, now, here comes some pills, dealing a little bit of damage to the red team. Some capture time down on the point, but so far, Dignitas has lost three players, only one down, Randa. And there goes the Jackal uh, as well. So that is a complete wipe for Dignitas once again. Randa, the only casualty there for Epsilon, and appearing a little bit sad about it. But Epsilon here could very easily bring this up to a 3-0 so far because they've got the big uber advantage once again. Santa now getting in his sleigh, taking the high ground here, uh, deciding that he wants to fly just a little bit, and they are going to push in here very soon. Um, is uh, Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was going to say, is, is Randa deciding not to play demo and playing uh, Pyro? But no, he was just trying to take a forward spawn there. Of course, uh, as you capture more points towards your opponent's base on a 5CP map, you the spawn... Um, the spawn changes, so you get a more forward spawn closer to the action. And if you change classes, of course, that is uh, that is the benefit that you get. If you change classes, it moves your spawn. So that's why he was showing as a pyro. But there you go, a complete wipeout once again on defense. It is now 0-3 to three in favor of Epsilon, and this is looking one-sided. Not sure what's happened to Dignitas here, because these guys, they've had a really good game in both rounds so far. It's just that they have not been able to uh, to really put anything together here on Gully Wash. Apparently this must be Epsilon's best map, or else the Dignitas team must be getting just a little bit drunk. I have no idea. Uh, Randa coming out here and just trying to set a couple stickies up right now. And, oh, sounds like a good headshot there by Cookie. Let's see if the Cookie Cam pays off here for us, because so far, uh, Santa is now dead as well. Cookie walking up to the side, looking for some kills here. And I think everybody from Epsilon has already backed out to the second point. So, a very big aggression coming in right now by Dignitas. Oh, Cookie going for a headshot there. Misses that shot on the demo. Trying to get one on the scout as well. Not hitting that either. Man, tough shots here on the opposing team. And now the Ubers are almost ready for both. Cookie is still standing out here as a sniper, waiting for his opponents to come in. He knows they're upstairs, but he's not going to be able to get any of them right now because they are invincible. Now looking for the demo man. Oh, can't hit him. Just barely missed that. And he's getting bombed in by a soldier. That's what you got to do to take out that sniper. Um, get a soldier on top of him, and a sniper will not last very long. Two rockets, and he is dead. Randa here trying to kill Hawks. Hawks down to 34 health. Oh, eats a shot to the knee from Walters, and Walters ends up getting that kill. Santa now killing to Jackal as well. So, man, this is not looking good for Dignitas at the moment. And Walters here, um, just setting up on the middle point here. He wants to try and snipe. Of course, Dignitas knows he's a sniper now, and they've got Cookie out as a counter sniper, so we're going to see what happens. Who is going to win this sniper battle? That, that could be a really big deal here, or it could just not matter at all, depending on, you know, like, if, if the snipers don't even see each other, and they just get killed from the flanks by a scout or a soldier or something. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, Cookie walking and watching around the uh, the choke right now. Oh, there you go. Walters ends up with the kill on Punpu. And Cookie looking for a counter kill, but not able to get it just yet. Oh, man, these snipers are so at each other's throats right now. But Cookie actually being overhealed. Oh, he's got to get back out of there, though. Door just barely saving him. He's trying to deal some no-scope damage now. It's not going to be enough here. Uh, Epsilon is going to capture the second point there. And now Walters on the sniper is looking for kills upstairs. Cookie, oh, Cookie, you're dead. That is it. Um, Walters now, yeah, Walters the only sniper left up, and in fact, Punpu and Hawks, the only players left up for the Dignitas team. The Uber's already pop popped in here. Walters getting a little bit of damage down there, and that's going to be it. 4-0 to zero for Epsilon against Dignitas. What the heck? And I had to clear my nose there. Oh, man. But um, this is looking so one-sided here. One more round, and Epsilon wins unless Dignitas can get a round win here. I guess we'll just watch the Dignitas cam and see if they can put anything together. Mafu taking the uh, left-hand rollout this time. Quite a bit more passive. He's going to be able to drop back here and stay alive for a lot longer. Oh, taking some rocket damage, but yeah, here's the thing. He can just walk right back through that choke and be perfectly okay. So that's exactly what he's done. Santa and Nox are actually both down here. The Jackal did die, but here's the thing. Uh, Epsilon has had to drop way, way back. They're going to have an uber advantage, uh, but Dignitas able to capture the middle point very decisively here because they had both their soldiers remain alive. Where is the cookie cam right now? He is on sniper once again. Oh, he's very, very actually far forward in positioning here, helping his team move out to the yard, and Epsilon back on their last point, I think. Um, oh, they might push out here. This could be a big mistake for them. There you go. Cookie getting some damage done on Randa. A fully charged body shot for 150 health. Now looking at... Uh, oh, he's just getting poked a little bit there by a shotgun shell. So, going to throw his aim off a little bit. But there you go! 
fully charged headshot on Nox. He gets taken out there right before Santa finishes him off with the rockets. Rando's now down as well. Oh, the medic pops the Uber, but he hasn't popped it on anybody. F2 having to run back towards the last point, and look at that. He's getting popped up into the air by the explosions. He can't get indoors. Popped way up in the air, and oh, good surf. He's gotten inside. What? Got back with 30 health and gets taken out by Mafu. Oh, man. That's like one of the best surfs I have ever seen in one of these games. Pretty crazy here. Uh, Dignitas pushing in, and they may be able to get a capture here against Epsilon. How much time is left, though? 15 minutes. So there's definitely enough time to win this game for Dignitas. Uh, they just, they've got to be really good here. So far, the Uber is popped. They need to just take that Uber off, but there you go. That is going to be 4-1. to one. These are played to a win difference of 5. So now Epsilon would have to win two more rounds if they want to win the match before the uh, timer runs out. We'll see what happens here, because uh, I've, I've liked seeing Dignitas' play. They finally did manage to put something together there, and Cookie still on the sniper. Mafu's rollout is once again the the very passive rollout here, and a scout is already on top of him. He's got to be really careful about this. Oh, that scout did take just a bit of damage, but now Mafu is basically locked out of the uh, of the play for the moment, and even Dejackal here is kind of stuck in that little uh, side passage. Soldier does die, though, but the problem is there's only three left alive for Dignitas. It's just Mafu... Um, the Jackal and a Soldier, and Matthew gets taken out. So, the Jackal here does have about the same Uber as his opponent. It's not a bad thing, but they're having to drop back to their second point once again. Dignitas is having some severe trouble capturing at mid and winning those mid fights. This is pretty crazy. Uh, so now, yeah, the Jackal here with the Uber. It looks like they're actually just pushing out here and they want to try and stop the capture. Can they do it though? It's going to be a little bit, uh, just barely able to. No. They have to back out. That is going to be it. And actually, the Jackal now eating some of the same explosive damage here. Oh, oh, interesting move by the Jackal. And beautiful, beautiful medic dodging there to stay away from those stickies and not die. I was like writing him off already. I was just like, no, there's no way the Jackal's going to live through this. And then he did. So, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Walters and Stefan both down. No scouts up for Epsilon right now. And those are actually some really key players for the Epsilon team. But there goes Punpu. Of course, uh, to some explosive damage. And now the Jackal backed up with just his demo man to defend him. Doing some really good dodging here. But it. Oh, Oh, he actually gets away from that soldier because uh, Mafu did get the kill. So Mafu playing very, very good pocket demo right now. Santa and Nox are both down, so the Jackal is going to be feeling a little bit safe here. And they've almost had the Uber once again, so they're going to push through this choke point. They've got to watch out for Randa's stickies. That is going to be the big deal here. And the Jackal just uh, keeping away from those pills. So let's let's get off his cam for just a little bit here and watch... Uh, oh, the Punpu cam actually over on the flanks, trying to get some kills on the scouts here. And that may not work at all. Oh, Punpu goes down, so does Walters. Meanwhile... Uh, Dignitas is dropped back to their second point once again. They have to make sure they don't get back capped. There goes Stefan. Uh, actually, Cookie ended up getting the kill on him. And going for a headshot there. Trying to finish the soldier off. There you go. Santa is now dead. Calling out that damage, of course. If he gets a headshot, he's just going to yell at his team. Look, the soldier's headshot. Help me finish him off. Uh, trying to get some damage there on Randa as well. Did get about 100 damage there on Randa, actually, with one, um, one body shot and then one no-scope. 50 damage each. So Randa was feeling the hurt, but he has grabbed a health kit, and he is just fine now. Uh, the Jackal having to bring his soldier back here. Hawks is going to be okay for a little bit, but they're getting pressured really hard here. Oh, Randa, what are you doing? You're so out of position. Hawks takes out Randa there. Uh, and so now, ooh, Mafu may go down as well. Yeah, not going to be able to deal against Stefan. Stefan now getting the capture, and he's got to watch out for this scout here because, oh, this could be really bad for Stefan there. Uh, does actually get the kill on Himzy. Wow. Wow, we're watching like one of the greatest scouts in Europe and probably the world here, Stefan, getting the capture on the second point. And what is the rest of the team going to do? Epsilon should be able to push in here with a bit of an uber advantage, a bit of a player advantage. Amafu, of course, just uh, just coming up here and setting up the sticky traps in the low ground. Walters sees this, and he's going to start just knocking them out. Uh, sounds like one of the demo men may have taken like like a little stray grazing shot. It's just a flesh wound. Just deal with it, bro. Um... Epsilon now pushing in on the clock. Here they go. The Ubers popped in just as soon as they get it. Uh, Pyro was there to stop that, but the Pyro is now down. Cookie has died. And what is going to happen here? Looks like the Ubers just now popped to stop the capture temporarily and keep the Demo Man alive. He's going to try to set up some more stickies somewhere. So now I've got this scout, but the scout is being such a pest here, hiding behind those crates. And his medic is still on him. Oh, and there goes Randa and Santa with the kills on the Jackal and Mafu. Nobody was left alive to stop that. It is now 5-1 to one for Epsilon. On. How much time is left here? 11 minutes. And if Epsilon gets another capture, that's going to end the game early because, of course, win difference of five means that a 6-1 to one win for Epsilon would be it. Dignitas really has their work cut out for them now. They need to capture at least four points just to bring it up to a tie. 
Randa, though, is setting up some Ziggies right now on the uh, the point here. There goes Stefan, but Mafu and the Jackal are both down right now. Punku jumping in after the Medic. Can I get that kill just yet? There's a Scout on the Medic still. Scout finally finishes him off. That was Himzy, but Himzy gets taken out as well. Hawks trying to hide underneath the little, uh, uh, what is it, a support beam here, and he is dead. So Dignitas just now respawning on their last point. Walter is going for the kill here on, is this Cookie? It's probably Cookie. Cookie did get a headshot kill there, but... Um, actually got a body shot there on Walters as well. So, problem is, there is a back cap going on right now. Randa going for that back cap. Where is Cookie here? Nowhere to be seen. In fact, he got taken out. Oh, there goes Randa, though. Beautiful uh, sticky kills there by Mafu. Mafu now getting pressured in by Stefan. Stefan is just doing work for this team. And he's not done yet. He's taken out Punpu as well. He's still got an overheal. And looking like he wants to maybe chase after the medic here. No, just going for the capture at this point And does get taken out by some well-placed rockets by Hawks. Whoops, going the wrong way here. Hawks getting a good kill there, but here's the thing. Epsilon is still all alive. Auto taking so much damage, having to back out. But they did get away from that just barely with most of their players intact. Ubers are even here, so Dignitas setting up a defense on their second point. They are ready to charge almost. Of course, you heard him say ready to charge, but he was really just kind of faking out his opponents. Now both teams have the Uber at the same time. Santa spots a scout coming in. Does not manage to get too much damage off there. Himzy um, getting a health kit there as well, so he's going to be okay. Here comes Uber right away from our red team, though. Popping in through the choke. They just want to end this game now, I think. They managed to take out Hawks, but Santa's down as well. Um... Knox here, though, still alive, and Dignitas losing so many players, only their scouts are up. Cookie now down to 20 health. Where is he? Uh, he is way behind enemy lines, hoping there was a health kit there, but there was not, and there is no way he's stopping that capture. Epsilon now has a big uber advantage. They're on the last point right now, and there you go. That is the game. Epsilon beating Dignitas 6-1 to to win the series. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, you need to watch me on FatMop, uh, youtube.com slash FatMop, and twitch.tv slash FatMop, F-A-T-M-O-P, but also, you need to watch Vanilla TV for more games like this when they are live, and uh, if you want to watch the North American games, that's going to be over on EX TV esports on Twitch TV when they are live as well. So, guys, thank you for watching. It's been Salamancer, an amazing series here between Epsilon and Dignitas, and I am signing out.